Hi everyone! Happy New Year! This is my first speaking video of the year. The previous one was a travel vlog. So I thought that I would make a 50 facts about me video. I've typed a list of things on my phone, so I'll be reading off that. Um, so let's get started. The first one is I was born in South Africa, but I grew up in Pakistan, Paris, and Dubai. And a few years ago, my parents moved to Tokyo, so that also kind of feels like home for me. The first foreign language I learned at school was Urdu when I lived in Pakistan, but unfortunately, I forgot how to speak most of it. My favorite drink is tea. I love oolong tea, chamomile, yurmuta, mm, I love a lot of tea. <laughs> um, I can't eat spicy food except kimchi because it's so delicious. I have IBS, endometriosis, scoliosis, hyperhidrosia, but I'm, despite the pain and discomfort, I'm really happy. Um, I sell customized shoes. I draw on shoes and decorate them. They used to sell really well when I was in high school, but I got a bit busy now. I'm still making them. I used to have hamsters. I really love small animals. Um, big animals kind of scare me, so hamsters were perfect for me. These days I'm getting really into minimalism, so I've been researching a lot and decided I have way too much clutter, especially if I want to move in the next year. I don't know what to do with all of my books. I really love music and I've started to learn two languages because of the music, so Vietnamese and Mongolian, if you ever wonder why I'm learning those, is because of their music. I'm really interested in Vietnamese hip-hop and Mongolian pop music. Um, I have Instagram, you can follow me on this link here. I'm a Christian and sometimes I go to Chinese or Korean church because I find the way they worship is um, kind of different from the Western Afrikaans church I'm used to and I find that really interesting. I worked in a Korean restaurant for about two years part-time so that really helped me to practice my Korean and learn more about Korean cuisine. My favorite color is grey. I love grey. Um, oh yeah, since learning languages like Chinese and Japanese and Korean, the writing system is much faster than English or it takes up less space than English. So most of my university notes are written in like Chinese characters or Korean or Japanese just because it's faster. I mix American and British spelling, so sometimes I get marks taken off from my reports because um, when I lived in Dubai I went to an American school so I kind of have the American spelling ingrained in my head. But my university is South African so we use British spelling so I kind of mix the two. I've been on a TV show, it's called Travel Story from Adiram TV in Korea. Um, the link is in the description so you can check out that. It's a few years back though, but it was a nice experience. <laughs> my major is information design, so I'm graduating this year. And this is my business card. Uh, there you go. It's my old logo though, so I've updated that. I need to make new business cards. What is next? When I was in high school, I had really short hair, like pixie cut and it looked completely different from how it is now. Um, I'm kind of a control freak. I want everything to be organized and planned out well, but I'm really trying to work on that this year. I designed merchandise for One Piece once, and it's being sold in Tokyo Tower at the moment, which is exciting. My favorite sounding language, uh, favorite language based just off how it sounds, is Vietnamese. Um, I have a diary where I write one page in Mandarin Chinese every single day, and I did a diary in Japanese last year for the whole year, 365 pages of Japanese. So maybe I'll do a video on that later, but it's a bit personal since it's my diary. The place I find most beautiful in the world is Hallstatt in Austria. I went there once for a holiday and it was extremely beautiful and peaceful. My phone froze. Urgh, no! It's because I have hyperhidrosia, which is sweaty hands, so my phone glitches a little. Okay, um, I've been in a magazine four times, or been in four different magazines, either four. Um, like the shoes I made, or fashion, or articles I've written. I'm always hungry, all the time, but I can't eat a lot at once, so I eat little bits many times throughout the day. Um, I go to a huge amount of art exhibitions and design galleries. Tokyo is a really good place to um, always be able to visit exhibitions. I get cold easily, so very easily, so I love the warmth. Um, yeah, maybe because I grew up in the desert. <laughs> I never go to the gym. I've never been to a gym. It's kind of scary. 
I don't like working out. No. Most of my really close friends I either met online or they are still online acquaintances. So, um, quite, you know, close to me where I'm living. I have quite a few good friends, but people really close to my heart are people who I've known online for many years. Um, this year I'm trying to keep track of my language learning hours. So I've got a little book where I track how many hours I spend on each language for the whole year. And at the end of the year, I'm going to calculate those and see which language I spent the most time on. Um, I keep sketchbooks. Every time I'm on holiday, I have a special sketchbook which I draw in. I don't know where it is now. I'm very sentimental, so I would keep everything. And I used to scrapbook a lot, but now with minimalism, I'm trying to um, scale down and, you know, little bits and bobs and keeping. Try to keep the memories in here. Um, I'm really interested in blind and deaf people and I really want to figure out how through design I can help um, specifically blind people. I collect socks and buttons. I have a huge collection of socks. You can check out the video on my channel of my sock collection. Um, I counted once at one point I had over 500 language books and then I scaled down and now I'm down to maybe three or four hundred language books. That's not including design books. I have a big book problem. I wouldn't say I believe in aliens, but I do think there is intelligent life forms out there. So I like to read about, you know, aliens and UFO stories. Yes. <laughs> um, I want to learn how to make 3D art on computer. It's a bit difficult for me, but that's one of my goals. Um, I've interned in Japan twice. I just finished an internship and it was a really great experience to get to know a Japanese office. Um, my dream is to live either in Singapore, Hong Kong or Tokyo. For a long time my dream was to live in South Korea but it's way too cold. I really, I can't handle the cold but um, I'm thinking Singapore is quite nice and warm so perhaps I'll move there one day. I love black bean anything like black bean milk, black bean tea, black bean bread. So. I'm really happy to be in Japan because I can eat that whenever I want. I don't eat any seafood. It kind of makes me nauseous. It's like I'm eating the ocean and it's really strong, so no seafood. And people are like, oh, okay, can you eat shrimp or can you eat tuna? It's still seafood. No, thank you. Oh yeah, in middle school I didn't have a lot of friends, so sometimes I would eat lunch in the bathroom. Okay, moving swiftly on. I'm allergic to preservatives, so I get really bad stomach aches if I eat a lot of stuff. So these are actually one of my favorite Japanese candies. They don't I don't think they have preservatives, or at least it doesn't give me stomach aches, and it says it's got 100 percent fruit material. Those are great. Mm, my favorite food is pho. Vietnamese pho, it's so good. I had it twice this week and probably four times this month so far. It's amazing. One of my most embarrassing moments, I was um, doing an interview for an internship in Japan. My very first interview ever. And as I got out of the door, I bent to put on my shoes because you take off your shoes in Japan. And my pants ripped right in the middle and everybody could hear the rip. It was like, <sighs> and luckily I was on my way out and not in. And I, just, I was like, pretend nothing happened, nothing happened and I just walked out. Super embarrassing. Needless to say, I didn't get the job <laughs> and I never went back there again. Oh yeah, when I lived in Dubai, I really thought I would become a fashion designer. So I wrote to a whole lot of fashion designers. Betsy Johnson was one of them and Reem Akra and Derek Lam. And Derek Lam and Reem Akra replied and they sent me some of their, you know, DVDs and stuff. And Reem Akra actually drew a sketch on a piece of um, fabric, which I really treasure. I have way too many notebooks and planners and journals and planning apps and stuff. I, I love writing and I really need to do something about my notebook collection. I'm a co-founder of Wikitangs. You can find us on YouTube if you search Wikitangs or go to wikitangs.org. We work to promote language diversity and language rights. So if you're interested in languages, which you probably are if you're watching my channel, please do check out Wikitangs if um, you want to hear what different languages sound like or if you want to get involved in our project. Um, and lastly, I collect maps. This is not my bedroom, it's actually my, in my parents' apartment in Japan, but in Pretoria. 
I most of my walls are filled with different maps. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any more questions, please leave them in the comment and uh, subscribe if you want to see more language videos. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. So see you next time. Bye! Considering I just spoke about minimalism previously, um, this is a book I would highly recommend. It's by Dominique Loro. So she's a French French author, but it's been translated into Korean. Simple which means living simply. And um, I've just obviously studied through this since it's still a bit difficult. But this book is extremely great if you're interested in living simply and becoming a minimalist. And over here is a green tea brand that I really like from Japan, Oiyota. So if you're ever in Japan, I highly recommend this if you are interested in tea.